All right, welcome back. So we confronted the mayor, and he unleashed these uh, evil dogs on us that were a little, well, a lot harder than I was expecting them to be, as you can see by the game over screen. So let's give it another go. Hopefully, we'll do a little bit better this time. Maybe do a little bit more pre-planning. That. And that. Okay. We're hoping for the best here. It's not going to be the best, but we're hoping for the best. She's about to die though, which really sucks. This is probably gonna be worse than the last attempt we had. Cause I can't even use her ability right now and she's got it built up. Oh good, that's actually pretty decent. I like that it's, that it's hitting her instead. That's actually pretty good. Okay. Art. that. Take. I have a plan. Not necessarily a good plan, but we do have a plan. Don't kill her! Don't kill her! Don't kill her! Don't kill her! Okay, phew. Oh no, but she got paralyzed, so she can't even attack. This is really bad, actually. I think I can't kill them both at the same time. I think that was my issue. one at a time, I think. Okay. Okay, now I have a plan. Now I have a plan. Okay. Uh, uh... <laughs> no, I don't. Mm. Yeah, because the guy got a boost that did a lot of damage. See, this is my plan. See? Now. Told you I had a plan. Light of the heavens, heal these battered wings. Bring your class! Okay. Ugh. It's fine. It's all good. We're all good. We're still good. 
Okay, so you're going to not use an art, you're going to dual strike this jerk. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, so I don't I think my issue was I killed one off really quickly last time. That was that was not good. Coffee on her, but it's okay, we got this. Here I come. Wow, that's a lot of sepith, I hope. So yes, yeah, so that's what happened. It powered up this guy, but it's okay because art, blue impact. There we go. I think we did it. Haha! -ha. That was a strategy. Just had to kill them both around the same time. Alrighty. <laughs> Nicely done. And look at that. Joshua and Estelle both leveled up. Estelle learned Comet. Got a crap ton of Seppin. It was all good. All ended up working out. It, it can't be. My sweet babies. How could you do this? You're one to talk. In accordance with the Bracer Guild protocol, and this time with authority, we're placing you under arrest. Surrender, and you will not be harmed. <laughs> you leave me no choice but to use my trump card. Huh? A wand? Time stop. I I can't move. Did he use an orbal art? No. This has to be an artifact. So what the hell is that? Well, well, your knowledge is impressive, Miss Rins. This is the Kronos Rod, an artifact which happens to be a family heirloom. It can completely paralyze anyone within range in the blink of an eye. That's crazy. How does the church not know about such a powerful artifact? <laughs> With a tool crafted by the wise ancients themselves, what else would one expect? Tactical orbments can't even begin to compare to this. Sadly, it is only that one function. Which means I'll have to sully my hands and dispose of you myself. <laughs> you should consider this an honor. Let's see, I think I'll start with the smart-mouthed little brat first. Who are you calling smart-mouthed? Hmm, perhaps I'll save the intelligent girl for last? <laughs> now, what was that you said you were saying about authority? You could plead for your lives, it might help, but I doubt it. To you, yeah, right. Keep your filthy hands off. What's that? Keep your filthy hands off of Estelle. Don't you harm a single hair on her head, or I'll use every technique I know to cut your miserable carcass to pieces. What? Joshua? Joshua? You certainly talk big for someone who can't even wiggle his fingers. Fine, I'll start with you. Stop! I'll never let you get away with hurting him. Joshua? Die. No! Oh, whoa. Hmm. What? That light. Damn it, if I could just reach my camera. What? what what's going on? I, I, I can move again. Estelle, what was that black light? I, I I don't know, but I think it came from that orbment Dad sent us. I, I, impossible. My family heirloom, my artifact, it's broken. It hardly matters since you've played your last hand. It's time to face reality. Yeah. I can't believe you'd really stoop this low. It's disgusting. Urgh. I will not be taken in. Ah! After him. Okay. 
Hey, wait up! I can't let a story like this get away! Oh my, I believe I've lost a few years off of what little remains to me. My lord, are you alright, my lord? Ugh, monsters, monsters. <laughs> mm, this is quite the underground lair the mayor has. Uh oh. Well, at least there's two boats, one for us and one for him. But his boat looks a little bit better equipped than the one we're gonna get. Hey, what's that? It's Mayor Dalmore's yacht. Hey, wait! We can go after him in this boat. Come on, you two, get on board. Alright, we'll do. Oh, poor Nile. Always left behind. Hey, let me come too! <laughs> oh! I don't think that is supposed to be going up at this point. Wow, we barely got through. Alright, we're closing in. This craft is small and lightweight, so we have the edge, it seems. Uh-oh. Damn stubborn little... Take this! Hiya! It's pretty impressive, Estelle. What? <laughs> That'll teach you not to underestimate a bracer. Joshua, flank him on the right. Roger that. Huh? Oh, no gas. Oh, how'd he get so fast? The wind is blowing towards open water. It's catching his sails and giving him a boost. Not good at this rate. The yacht has a clear advantage. We won't be able to catch up. Say what now? Aha, uh -huh, it looks like Adio smiles on me today. I bid you farewell, brats. Got to be kidding, we were so close. He's going to get away. There must be something we can do. What the? We're here. What the indeed? Alright, getting away is all well and good, but what now? I guess I have no choice but to head for the Empire. Or if I lie low for a while, maybe he. What? What, what, what? Arr. I don't even know who this is. I'm kind of curious. Intelligence people? The army? What's this airship? Did the Royal Army know? The coat of arms is wrong. It's the Royal Guard's ship, a high-speed cruiser. Her name is the RCL. Well, well, looks like we got here just in time. That blue and white uniform, are you Her Majesty's Royal Guard? Precisely. I am the company commander, Julia Schwartz. Mayor Morris Dalmore Ruin, I am placing you under arrest for arson, robbery, and embezzlement, among other charges. This is a dream. It has to be. No, 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 no. What? What's going on? Jean called the Royal Army for reinforcements? But how did they get here so fast? <laughs> Hello there, Bracers! Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Please, let me handle this matter. I pressed Mayor Dalmore for information once he regained consciousness, but... He apparently can't remember anything regarding the past few hours very well, if he remembers them at all. He's also drawing a complete blank about the arson and robbery. Really? Kinda like the leader of the Sky Bandits. Maybe it's related to those men in black from before? Well, even if he can't remember, the crimes are pretty clear-cut. It should go without saying that we'll be checking out his steward, too. If we uncover anything, we'll be sure to let the Bracer Guild know. Uh, we appreciate it. By the way, Lieutenant, I have a favor to ask. What might that be? 
Would it be at all possible for me to get on board that ship as well? It's supposed to be the most advanced airship ever to come out as Ace. It'd make for a great story and I really need one. I'm afraid not. The RCL was only just completed and is still undergoing flight testing. I must ask that you not comment on her at all until she's officially unveiled. What? Oh, come on. You gotta at least give me something about the mayor and his steward being arrested. Don't worry, the facts about the story will be given over to the Royal News Agency. Until then, please refrain from reporting any of this. <sighs> what choice do I have? Alright, I can do this. I can write a story with even the barest scrap of info. Eh, I've gotta hurry back to the agency and put these events to paper. If you'll pardon me, everyone. Well, he's in his usual high spirits. <laughs> Would you expect any less? I told that the liberal news circulation has increased dramatically of late. Excuse me. I hope he's not planning to write a big propaganda piece. Oh, what do you mean? Never mind. That was quite impressive, First Lieutenant Schwarz. I don't know who this is. I'm guessing it's the intelligence guy? Aha! Colonel. Well... Colonel Richard. Oh, I remember you. I presume that you are the new bracers the guild spoke of? Er... Oh, so you were the one Jean got in touch with, Colonel Richard? Yes, I received word at Leiston Fortress, where the Royal Forces are stationed. I got here as quickly as I could, only to find that the crisis had passed. Excellent work, Lieutenant. That's very kind of you, sir. Ah, I still wonder. What would bring the guards from the Royal City here, and so quickly? Perhaps you know of a route so secret that even our intelligence division is unaware of? Surely you jest. Ah, come now, Captain. This is hardly a time to pick a fight. I was simply admiring the proactive stance of the Royal Guardsmen. Of the Royal Guardsmen. It's good to have you on our side. If it, if it please you, Lieutenant, we'll take over the investigation from here and move matters to Leiston Fortress. I believe the Mayor will be able, will be well attended to that. Yes, sir, I understand. Now, if you'll excuse us, ladies and gentlemen of the Bracer Guild and Royal Guard, and the young lady in the uniform. Fate willing, I think we shall see each other again. And with that, I bid you farewell. Hmm, safe travels, everyone! Maybe I'm just imagining things, but did the Colonel look like he was eyeballing Chloe to anyone else? Oh, was he? I'm sure it's just because he doesn't see students very often in his line of work. I wouldn't make too much of it. <laughs> oh, I bet you're right. That's probably it. Mm, that's not the impression I got at all. I'm certain that he's just as surprised as you are. It's hard to believe that Bracer so young would be so capable. He might be scouting you out to become part of the Royal Guard. Oh, come on, don't flatter us. We had a lot of help on this case. You needn't be so modest. You're not full-fledged bracers yet, I presume that you wish to become so? Well, yes, we're in training for it. We intend to travel all over the country before the Queen's birthday celebration as part of our preparations. I see, you're partaking in self-study then. Lieutenant Schwartz, everything is ready for the CO's departure. Acknowledged. Estelle and Joshua, and Chloe too, of course. We must be leaving soon, I hope that our paths will cross again. Yes, ma'am. We'll be looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Mm, what is Chloe's connection to the royal family? Mm. Regiment, attention! Whoa. Royal Guardsman Warship RCL, prepare for takeoff. salute and fanfare to go with it. That's a little overwhelming. Yeah, and a state-of-the-art ship to boot. But I guess you'd expect as much from the defenders of Her Majesty the Queen. Mm -hmm, true. Lieutenant Schwartz sure is cool, though. She kind of reminds me of that character that Chloe played, Oscar the Knight. I think so, too. <laughs> what an odd coincidence. Scree! Odd coincidence, indeed. Oh, don't tell me the Royal Guardsmen showed up. And the RCL was there too? She's supposed to be cutting edge. 
It's too bad I just work at the info desk. I'd have liked to see that. I never figured you for the military enthusiast. Still, didn't you end up speaking to Colonel Richard? Yes, he was on duty at least in HQ. I don't know how the Royal Guardsmen got there so quickly, though. I guess there's a lot more cross-communication in the military than I thought. Amazing that they managed to communicate at all, given how many agencies there are. Regular Army, Border Patrol, Intelligence, the Royal Guard? It must be pretty complicated. Cleaning up after an incident like this will be a major undertaking. What will happen to the Administration of Ruin from now on? Yeah, since the mayor's been arrested... I'd imagine they'll be sending in someone as acting mayor. And if Dalmor is found guilty, elections will have to be held. Plus, reparations will probably be made toward the orphanage. Really? Thank goodness. All of this is thanks to Estelle and Joshua. Thank you so much, truly. Come on, you don't have to be so formal. We just did what was right. Plus, it was just us. It wasn't just us. Agate played a big part. Speaking of... John, have you received any word from him? Yes, but unfortunately. I'm afraid he wasn't able to capture the men in the black uniforms. They were not alone, apparently. Agate was ambushed. What? Is he alright? Yes, he managed to defeat them. I believe he gave chase, and they're on their way to Zeis. By now, he's probably well outside of Ruin. Well, let's talk about hardcore. Well, he's got plenty of experience, after all. He'd be chasing those black-clad characters for a while. Been chasing. I think they're related to a job your father asked him to do. Dad asked him... And Agate just did what he asked? <laughs> well, the one to put Agate on... The the one to put Agate of the Ravens in his place was none other than Cassius himself. And whatever he might like to claim, Agate stood no chance against him. Whoa, seriously? Cassius really beat some sense into him, and Agate's too stubborn to simply say thanks and leave it as that. Ah, oh, I get it. Maybe that's why he's so abrasive when it comes to us. Abrasive barely covers that guy's attitude. Hm. Guess he's not so high and mighty when your dad's involved, huh? <laughs> oh, speaking of your father... Something wrong? Um, about that black orbment that lit up and saved our lives at the mayor's estate? Oh yeah, that's right. So much has been going on that I forgot all about it. I wonder what that was all about. That orbment may have saved our skins, but it was still weird. An unusually colored orbment, huh? What can you tell me about it? Well... I still explain that, uh, that it, along with the memo, had been placed in a package addressed to Cassius. Oh my, that's quite a story. Hmm, Professor K... from K asking about a Professor R. Could it be? You know what it means? Not specifically, but I've got a hunch, but nothing to back it up. But if you want to know more about its origin, I suggest going to Zace. Why Zace? As you should know, Zace is famous for the manufacture of orbments. There must be someone there who might know something about your orbit. Makes sense. We may... Never learn more about the Black Orbit without consulting an expert. But we still have more training here to finish. <laughs> well, about that. You may want to prepare yourselves. Recommendation. Woo! What? Really? Huh? <laughs> you had to have seen this coming. I mean, you got a recommendation from Bose after the Sky Bandit incident. Given your crucial roles in all the cases recently, I, so n I see no reason not to award it. Your assessment and reward have been prepared. Excellent. Festival help. <laughs> I think a little more than just the fest- Ah, there we go, Trace of the Target. Wow, all this on top of the pay for performing in the campus festival? Thank you so much for everything you've done. Come now, you've earned it. I confess, I'd also like to see you advance as quickly as possible. I believe we'll be able to make the best use of your talents this way. Thank you, Jean. We'll do our best to live up to your expectations. Congratulations, both of you. It'd be kind of lonely here without you, though. Chloe, you're right, it'll be tough to say goodbye. Oh, please don't mind me, I'm just being selfish. Will you please tell me when you find out what day you're leaving? I'd like to see you off, at least as far as the Air Letton checkpoint. And there we go, that's the end of chapter two. So, we're well on our way to the, well I guess there's four chapters, so, and the prologue. So I guess we'll take a break here, and next time we'll continue on with Chapter 3. We don't know what it's called yet, but we'll find out next time. Thanks for watching!